and welcome back to another episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me, it's CGB, here with my friends Ben, Blake, and Shay. We're in kind of what I would call the original seats, yeah. mm -hmm. is what's going on here yeah. this week for another amazing game of Commander Action. Brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, promo code CGB5. That's how you let them know that you came from this channel and that you want to support what's going on here. So shop at CoolStuffInc.com, promo code CGB5. And Cool Stuff Inc. has something else cool for all of you. If you leave a comment, and the winner of the game loves that comment and selects it as their winner for the week, you'll get a $50 gift code to CoolStuffInc.com. And what we do here is we talk, as the worst possible commander show, about what the worst possible thing our deck can do. It's our version of Rule Zero. And because I'm sitting here in the chair that does all the talking, I get to go first. <laughs> so this week I am playing Council the Council of Four. It is us. We're the Council of Four, <laughs> yeah, I, I would like to say. Mm -hmm. um, I, this card is a new one from Commander Legends Battle for Boulder's Gate, and it's an Azorius it's an Azorius Commander. I have to try it, especially if it says draw a card on it. Spoiler, it does. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a human noble. It's a zero eight. <laughs> They, wow. The perfect stat line. <laughs> <laughs> Literally a whole bunch of O2s making decisions oh, for the so entire sweet. world. Mm -hmm. And whenever a player draws their second card during their turn, you draw a card. Whenever a player casts their second spell during their turn, you create a 2-2 white knight creature token. So, in a bizarre twist of fate, I actually want you guys to draw more cards and play more spells. Aww. So this this deck is called You and Me, but mostly me. Primal Song, <laughs> go because on. Because I'm going to play cards like Howling Mine and Kami of Crescent Moon so that you guys draw extra cards, but I also draw extra cards. Mm -hmm. And the worst possible things I can do, I've got Crown Jewel, which when it enters the battlefield draws three cards and taps for three mana of any one color. And I have Displacer Kitten, which whenever I cast a non-creature spell, I can flicker a permanent. So I can bounce the Crown Jewel, return to the battlefield, draw three, and make three more mana every time I cast a non-creature spell. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> and I can just yeah. kind of draw my deck. That's I, gross. It's possible I could fizzle yeah. if I had the combo. But not super likely. Not super likely. And to actually win the game while popping off in that manner, I have Approach of the Second Sun, and I also have Reman and Narset's Reversal, which could return an approach on the stack to my hand and let me play it again right away. So it's blue-white control that also lets you guys draw a bunch of cards. So <laughs> you'll love it until you hate it. Perfect. <laughs> Perfectly explained right there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready to crush me, aren't you? Yeah. I hope so. All right, Ben. Tell us about your worst possible. Well, I am playing Never Nevenreal. Uh, Urborg Tyrant is an Esper Commander from Commander Legends. He's a zombie wizard, and he has hexproof from artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. When he enters the battlefield, I create uh, create a tapped 2-2 black zombie creature token for each creature that died this turn. And when he dies, I may pay one and wipe all, destroy all artifact creatures and enchantments. But he's more of a combo deck and not really a zombie deck, but I think the only creatures I have in it are zombies, besides the Vampire Hex Mage. But uh, <laughs> I do have Dark Depths, Vampire Hex Mage combo, mm -hmm. just to get a big old 2020 Flying Indestructible, <laughs> hopefully <laughs> out on turn two or three. Let's go. Um, I also have Approach of the Second Sun, but I'm doing the classic Dig Through Time combo with it. Um, might have an omniscience to cast those all in one turn, but who knows. Um, I also have Underworld Dreams, which deals one damage to an opponent when they draw a card, and then I have Peer into the Abyss to knock someone out in one turn with that. But you also said you might have omniscience, so like if you just play omniscience and then cast Peer into the Abyss, it's going to be a pop off like bed, like you never yeah. see coming from oh bed. Oh my gosh. Right. This <laughs> is a definitely, definitely a uh, like. You play against this deck and you're like, what is he doing? And then all of a sudden, I just win. So. Sounds like a Ben deck to me. So watch out. <laughs> I feel like that's the episode, like uh, the dragon episode all over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, like if you, 
like I won't have creatures for probably multiple turns and you'll be like, well, I feel bad for attacking it, but <laughs> really you should. Noted. I'm writing that one down. <laughs> yeah, gonna remember that. Well, Blake, what is, what are you playing? <laughs> And what is the worst possible thing it can do, Blake? Well, CGB, <laughs> I'm playing Atroxa. So this is four color, every color, but red for a 4-4 Flying Vigilance death, death Touch Lifelink. At the beginning of your end step, proliferate. What am I going to proliferate? Is Energy it... counters, baby. Let's go. This is uh, not the strongest deck I've ever played, but it is going to be an absolute blast. So it's not Infect, and it's not Super Friends. It's energy. It's energy! Or even 1-1 one, one counters. <laughs> it gets some on 1-1 one, one counters, oh, but it's mostly bit. energy. I mean. So I'm going to be playing with cards like Confiscation Coup, which lets me take somebody's thing and make it mine. And also, I want to kill somebody with Electrostatic Pummeler, which is a 3-mana 1-1, one, one, and when it enters the battlefield, they get 3 energy. I can pay 3 energy to give it plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is its power. We're going to see how big we can make our buddy here. Hmm. It's not going to get a huge. <laughs> it's going to be fine though. But I do have one actual win con for that's it's like kind of whatever. It's trying for the horror. It's just easy mode. I know, no, no, I know. But we're going to try oh, kill people with this. You are an infect deck. <laughs> <laughs> now it's not. I got electrostatic pummel. So it's too easy bad. mode for me, baby. I'm going mm. with electrostatic pummel. Uh, he, he's he says that, but when the chips are down and CGB is about to pop off. Oh, I'm hitting him for some infect. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shay, what are you playing this week? What's the worst possible thing you are going to do? Yeah, so my commander this week is Adrix and Nev or Neve, uh, twin casters. Um, it costs four mana. It's a merfolk wizard with ward two. When I cast it, I'm going to send a reminder about that, pes that pesky uh, ward two because um, it's great for me, but very annoying for you all. Um, but if one or more tokens would be created under your control, twice that many of those tokens are created instead. And it's a 2 2. You know how I love my tokens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ben, are you excited about these tokens? <laughs> you said you don't get creatures there... out for like 30 turns, right? Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> see you in early. We'll see. Maybe oh, we yeah. can have an alliance early game. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. But uh, as far as my worst possible, I've got Biovisionary here. Um, it's a three mana human wizard, two, three creature. At the beginning of the end step, if you control four or more creatures named Biovisionary, you win the game. Um, and so if I have something also out, like doubling season and my commander, and then I can cast Rite of Replication, targeting Biovisionary, that's gonna give me four copies. Um, and then if I make it to my end step, I will win the game with Biovisionary out on the field. I always thought that was an upkeep trigger. It is end step. End yeah. step. Wow. So like if we just are caught tapped with out. A, tapped out yeah. and she does oh that, it's over. Yeah. Okay. If you like kick this and have this out, do you win the game like three times then? <laughs> do you win the next three? <laughs> well, that would be cool. <laughs> okay. But sure. I don't know if that's how it works, but that it would is, be cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, she picked three comments, yeah, giving away yeah, three yeah. gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh, but yeah, even if I don't have my commander or doubling season out, and I can kick the right of replication, that's going to give me um, that's going to give me five of those tokens onto the battlefield. So um, that would also win me the game. Looks, yeah, looks like something. Uh, I'm I'm actually curious to see because I've had a look that like, you have a lot of clone effects, you have a lot of doubling effects. I it's it's a very mathy. Quandrix, you might say, <laughs> deck. So I'm looking forward to seeing just how much mm. of the battlefield you can cover with nonsense. Yeah. You can borrow some of Ben's playmat if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> and Ben, I'm going to call on you to help me with the math. Um, oh, the okay. math of the deck. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. He's a math guy, right? I know. I would be terrible. Don't ask me. That's like canon. Fair oh, yeah. Ben, Ben's Don't a math guy. Me. I can't. I didn't think he was a math guy this week because he doesn't have a math related t shirt. Yeah. On. Oh, just, just, just my comfy, silky rifle. Right <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I, I would say let's let the nonsense begin, but I think we got a head start. Yeah. Uh, let's jump into the game. Uh, 
All right, so I won the dice roll. None of them could beat me. And I'm salty about it because Gemstone Cavern. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's go. Was that the third time that's happened? <laughs> the first time you get that out of turn zero, I will concede. It gets worse. I don't have a blue source because I kept a hand with this. <laughs> go on, Ben. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll draw a card. I will play Temple of Enlightenment and Scry One, and I will keep it on top, and then I'll pass. <laughs> Gonna play a tap water grave and pass the turn. Play a forest and pass the turn. Play a plains and a jeweled lotus and go for my commander. Council of four. Zero eight, whenever you draw your second card on your turn, I draw a card. Whenever you cast your second spell in turn, I make a knight. Your turn, Ben. Play in Swamp. And I will look at this Demonic Tutor. Then I'll pass. I will play a Hinterland Harbor. And I'm going to cast a Farseek. And then I'll pass to Shay. On your end step. What? I'm going to tap my forest to play Worldly Tutor. Search for a creature card. Okay, so um, I do have to reveal the card that I grabbed, the creature that I grabbed, and it will go to the top of my library. I grab Scoot Swarm, play a Bark Channel Pathway, and then I'll tap two for a Cryptolith Rite. Oh, that's a throwback. Yeah, I haven't seen that in a minute, so creatures tap for... And one mana of any color. Yep. Seems okay with the Scoot Swarm. <laughs> yeah. yeah a little Seems bit. real good. Then I'll pass the turn. I'll attack Blake for zero. I want it noted <laughs> as commander damage. <laughs> oh, no man. blocks. No. And I'll cast a lion sash and I'll say go. Okay. I'll untap. I'll play an island for turn. I'll tap that island to play a soothsaying. Hey, I played that. <laughs> and then I'll pass. Play the only command tower in my deck. And I'm going to play a Lux Cannon. I can tap it to put a charge counter on Lux Cannon. I can remove three charge counters from Lux Cannon to destroy target permanent. Ooh. Seems pretty good with proliferate. It does. Yeah. It does. Pass the turn. Play an island. Then we're going to tap three for Jahira, friend of the forest. Tokens you control have tap to add green mana. Nice. It's like a cryptolith right. <laughs> and then I'm going to pass the turn. Tech Blake for one. <laughs> I'll respond by putting a church can on my Lex can. <laughs> um, go on, Ben. Oh, yeah, your end step. I'll do the top two and put them back in any order. I'll untap and draw the card I just looked at. I'll play a command tower. I'll tap three and play a propaganda. Mm. And then I'll pass. I will pay two life for overgrown tomb. Let's go. Atrox is out. Go ahead. So we're tapping three, and then I'm going to tap my Jahira using Cryptolith's ability for um, any color. So that's four total for my commander. Um, so yes, as a reminder, it's got Ward 2. And then if one or more tokens would be created under your control, twice that many of those tokens are created instead, then I shall pass the turn. Um. And step, I'm going to Lion Slash my own Gilded Lotus for a plus one, plus one counter. Shay, I attack you for two with Lion Slash. <gasps> cool, I'll take two. All right. Then, I'll play this Prismatic Vista. Yeah! Whoa. Don't act all happy about it. <laughs> oh, it makes me feel less bad when I kill you. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> I'm going to fetch an island, because it has to be a basic land. So this will do. I go to Too Many Games Philly, and I sit down, and I've got this like 11 or 12 year old kid, I don't know how old kids are from their, how they look, and he's just like, you're shuffling like a beaver. <laughs> the whole time, every time I shuffle my deck, he's got something to say about the beaver shuffle. <laughs> it's time to take this world by storm. I'm gonna cast Midnight Clock. And, uh, I'm gonna say it's your turn, Ben. What? When this thing gets to 12 counters, I get to do cool stuff. In the meantime, it's going to tick up on every upkeep, like right now. I'll play a Swamp for turn, and I'll pass. 
CGBI attack you for four. If I don't do anything to your commander, are you gonna just not use that uh, cannon on me for a while? If I let your commander hit me this time, will you just not Lux Cannon me for a few turns? I'll give it a couple turns. How about this deal? You don't Lux Cannon a mana source of mine for the game. Perfect. For oh, the game? Yes, for the cool. game. I don't All want right. you to, you do not get to Lux Cannon a mana source of mine. All right, that's fine. Okay. I'll take the four. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you're I'm going to play Architect of the Untamed. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you get an energy, and I can spend eight energy to make a 6-6 six, six beast. <laughs> but it's colorless. And then I'm going to play a land. I also gain four from my attack with the Troxxon. All right, I'm going to move to my end step. I'm going to proliferate. And pass the turn to Shay. So we are tapping three for Scoot Swarm. Nice. Here it comes. Here's the Scoot Swarm. Um. Um, all right, then I'm going to play Otawara, Soaring City, as a land. And that will trigger the landfall ability on Scoot Swarm. So I'll create two 1-1 one, one green insect creature tokens because my commander is on the battlefield. Um, okay, so I'm gonna draw those up in just a second, but for now they will be there on the battlefield. So no good attacks. Um, I guess in that case, I'm gonna pass over my combat step. Um, I will be tapping Jahira for green to play Birds of Paradise. That is your second spell. Oh man. Oh, makes oh, a man. Doo -doo. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> this it doesn't actually have vigilance, but it is a two-two night token, so mm -hmm. we're using it. Um, all right, and then I'm gonna pass the turn and drop my tokens. All right, I'm gonna tick up my midnight clock on upkeep to four. When it hits seven, no. Twelve. When it hits twelve, <laughs> I get a new hand. It's all seven right. o'clock. Let's draw. <laughs> I'm going to tap the clock in the cavern, so I'm going to cast Ghostly Pilfer. This says whenever an opponent casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, I draw a card. It's great against commanders. So Ben, it's your time to cast your commander, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I can discard this to make it unblockable. Um, I can also, when it becomes tapped, it, when it becomes untapped, I can pay two to draw a card. Then I'm done. That's all I've got. Mm -hmm. At your end step, I'm going to tap five and look at the top five. And put them back in any order. So I'm gonna put them back in that order. I'm gonna draw for turn. Uh, upkeep, tick my clock. I'll play a swamp for turn. Draw a card, CGB. Thank you! <laughs> I will. Play my commander. Mostly pilfer Nevin triggers. Mm. And then I'll pass. All right, Blake's upkeep, I get another counter on the clock. And at the before the end of uh, the turn, I will put a counter on Lux Cannon. Oh, okay. Draw for turn. I'm gonna play Shielded Aether Thief at flash speed, and that I mean sorcery speed, because I don't know how that keyword works. <laughs> Whenever it blocks, I get an energy, I can pay, th tap this and pay three energy to draw a card. I like drawing cards. And then I will kill Scoot Swarm with Lux Cannon. All right, no response. Cool. Ben. You can pay two for that. <laughs> the sass. Now he has to, or else we all know he, he forgot about propaganda. <laughs> I would never forget right. something on the board. I've never done it. I'll, I'll take four, four damage. I'll get four commander. I'm going to move to my end step, and I'm going to pull a proliferate. P -p 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 proliferate, and pass the turn. Hmm. Oh, uh, and Shay's upkeep, I'm going to tick to seven on Midnight Clock. And then tap three for Kodama's Reach. Would have been so good with my Scoot Swarm. Mm -hmm. All right, so I grabbed an island and a forest. I'm going to put the forest onto the battlefield tapped, and the island will go to hand. Kodama's Reach goes to graveyard. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pass. Okay, uh, end step. Yeah. I'm going to do the favor. A, a t I'm going to do a favor for the table that table is favor. in the lake. Oh. <laughs> and I'm going to re-sculpt this uh, cannon into a 4-4 elemental. Thank you. All right, my turn? Yes. All right. Well, untap. I'm going to tick up to eight on the midnight clock. All right. I needed this so badly. Loyal Warhound. 3-1 uh, Vigilance, but when it enters the battlefield, 
if an opponent controls more lands than me, which is everyone, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I get to search my library for basic planes put onto the battlefield tapped and shuffle. Man, nice. if everyone has double your lands, you should get two. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play uh, Planes. Okay. I'm going to discard Smuggler's Share to the Ghostly Pilfer, because I really don't want to cast it. And I'm going to attack Blake with an unblockable Spirit Rogue. That seems good. And then I'm done. All right, I'll untap. I'll tick to nine. I'm going to tap six, because <laughs> why not? I'm going to play a Grave Titan. A Grave Titan? Oh, that's not a zombie, but it makes zombies. <laughs> so far, the only creatures we've seen in this deck are not zombies. Well, there we go. Two zombie uh, tokens. Ben, uh, oh, no, Ben, no. Ben, Ben, I, I just, no. that mana, man. What I need to mana oh. drain that. <laughs> I need to mana drain that. I need the mana. Oh. I'm sorry. Gross. I'm sorry. Okay. I said I was going to do that. To is this because it was your preview card? You're just making Ben pay for it right now? No, I, I, I'm really just... I need the mana very badly. Don't That's match? honestly what's up. That's fair. Fine. I I mm. really I feel bad, but I I would prefer to even hold it up for your you know for this round of the table. But I don't know if you're gonna play a six man. No, spell. that's fair. So mm -hmm. I gotta do it. I'll pass. On your upkeep, I'm gonna tick up to ten. I shall play a traumatic lantern. A what? A traumatic lantern. It's pretty traumatic. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And then I will go to combat. CGB. Yo. Do you have any flying? No. Okay, cool. All right, you got it. <laughs> I'll go to eight commander damage, and I'll go down to 31. End of my turn, I will proliferate just that. Wait, wait. Pass the turn. Okay. Uh, yeah. Clock ticks up to 11. Tapping three for Rhystic Study. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm going to exile subtlety and cast Force of Negation oh. on your Rhystic no, Study. He's no. doing so much before he gets a new hand. That's the idea. That's the idea. Gotta empty yeah. the hand. Uh, um, yep, yeah, no response. No, I'm just gonna go to end step and pass. Okay, on end step, I'm going to activate Line Sash. And I'm going to exile the Lux Cannon from the graveyard. Come on, man, it's Get a dead. Plus one, plus one counter. <laughs> it's Satan. Let it die. <laughs> it's got to go. Man. No, it's it's got to stay gone. <laughs> All right, my turn. Untap. Mm -hmm. uh, upkeep. Trigger on the stack. I'm going to tap Midnight Clock for a blue. And then I'm going to mm. exile it. And I shuffle up and draw seven. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. I'm also drawing my second card plus for the turn. So Council of Four is triggering to draw another card, and we're still on upkeep. And you have one blue floating? Yep, and I have one blue floating. So draw, pass priority on the blue mana. Didn't draw anything I really want to do with that. Seems good to me. Draw step. And now you're in your main phase? Or? No, I'm in my main phase. Six mana. Six colorless mana, baby. Uh, we'll, we'll drop straight to four for this Thought Vessel. Yay. Nice. Wouldn't want to have to discard the hand size in such a scenario. Then I'm going to pay a white and two more of the colorless for our Kalemancer's map. So I get to search for two planes, and whenever an opponent plays a land, if they have more lands than I do, I get to put a land from my hand onto the battlefield. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I cleaned the deck out of basics. I only have one planes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, does your commander say on their turn when they draw their only it their does. second card? Yes. Okay. Just clear. Alright, we'll go to one and we'll play a Wayfarer's Bobble. That's definitely a second spell, so I need a knight. It might even be a third, but mm. it's fine. This is fine. Uh, use the colorless and uh, this colorless and white, and I'm gonna cast Smuggler's Share. So at the beginning of each end step, I draw a card for each opponent who drew two or more cards this turn, and then create a treasure for each opponent who had two or more lands enter the battlefield under their control this turn. So just more more fun stuff for me to remember, don't worry. Yeah, it's going great. <laughs> it's going great. Ah, and then I'll right. play Azorius Chancery as my land drop for turn, returning the gemstone caverns to my hand. The cursed <laughs> caverns to my hand. 
I'm going to discard Gemstone Caverns to my Ghostly Pilfer, and I'm going to no, attack Blake for two. Come on, man! <laughs> Making with an unblockable Spirit Rogue. And after that, I'm done. Right. I am get? going to play Fear of the Dead. Gross. And make a. Oh wait, that's not. No, you're not different. <laughs> you got some work to do. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five right now. That's too bad. Uh, well, yeah, five. So my Archaeomancer's map is going to see your Field of the Dead it and is. let me put a land onto the battlefield. And I'm going to put this Misty Rainforest on the battlefield. I will tap two, three, to play a Mirror Maid. Coming in as a copy of Thought Vessel. Oh. Okay. Mm. And then I'll pass. Um, at the end of your turn, I will spend three energy to draw a card. <laughs> I'm going to play Servant of the Conduit. This is a mana dork that costs me an energy to make a mana. But it makes me two mana. Or two energy. All of the above. I'm going to play a Glint Sleeve Siphoner. This is a 2 1 menace. When it enters the battlefield or attacks, get an energy. Whoa. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may pay two energy. If you do, draw a card and lose a life. Finally, someone who gets it is going to draw some cards. Uh, by the <laughs> way, that's uh, a knight for moi. I'm going to move to combat. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for CGB. Again? Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm a little oh. scared. Um, yeah, uh, that's a hit. I'm going to go to 12 commander damage from Atroxa. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go down to 27. I'm going to move to end step and proliferate my energy. And then pass the turn to Shay. I'll play an island. I will trigger my Archaeomancer's map and I will put a planes onto the battlefield. Then I'll move to end step. No! Shay! What? And pass the turn. Hmm. Okay. End step, I'm going to crack Wayfarer's Bobble and attempt to search my library for a basic land. But uh, field in response. <laughs> I'll tap three and play Avon Mindset. <laughs> <laughs> so now you have to search the top. He doesn't own a Ristic Study. He doesn't own a Force of Negation. Everybody loves him when he wins. And then he even mind censors my, way, <laughs> my Wayfarer's Bobble. Best. In response, oh. Ooh. I'm Ooh. sacrificing. Well, that's on the stack. I'm right. sacrificing Misty Rose okay, first <laughs> and searching my library. In response, <laughs> my own Avon Mind Sensor. <laughs> Um, I'll get the tundra. Hmm. All right. That was good. One, two, three, four. Oh, no. Fail to find. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to Lion Sash your Grave Titan out of, okay, fair you know, sauciness. Are there any other permanents in graveyards right uh, now? Um, Scooty Root Toot Squirm, and that's it. I'll exile the Scooty Toots one. <laughs> okay. And we'll go to four plus one plus one counters on the Lion Sash. You done? I am, With yes. her end step? Yes. Okay. Here I go. Oh, God, that was all on my end step. <laughs> <laughs> Untap Ghostly Pilfer. I'm going to pay the Thought Vessel and a Planes to draw a card with it. I'm going to draw my Insane. card in my draw step, but it's my second card drawn this turn, so I also draw for Council of the Four. I'm going to discard planes to the ghostly pilfer, and I'm going to equip, reconfigure, I mean, Lion Sash to the ghostly pilfer. So now it's swinging in for six. Attack Blake. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to cast Mystic Remora. So whenever you guys cast a non-creature spell, you have to pay four or I get to draw a card. Yep. Which I think is totally fine. I will respond by drawing a card with this dude. Sure. Then I will, as my second spell for this turn, I'm going to Pongify Atroxa and make a 2-2 two -two knight. It's hit me for 12, dude! I respect that. It's yeah, totally the right nice. play. Then I'm done. I will tap seven. 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 <laughs> And I will appear into the abyss on myself. Wow. I told you. I like how the face made you like, that'd be weird. That'd be weird. <laughs> oh. oh, it's just be a shame if I was weird and did that. Um, trigger Mystic Remora. 
draw a card. <laughs> ben, lose half your life okay. and draw half your library. I will go down to 18. So 41 cards go in my hand. How you doing there, Ben? Great. <laughs> I'll, I'll pass. On your end step, I'm going to trigger a smuggler share because I do have an opponent that drew two or more cards this <laughs> you turn. Sure did. This is true. <laughs> On my upkeep, I'm going to spend two energy to draw a card. Yeah. All right, we got a problem. No, you don't. What are you talking about? <laughs> going to draw for my turn. That's going to trigger, trigger my council of the four. Get triggered. I triggered it. I'm going to utter end your propaganda. Exile target non land permanent. Okay. I'm going to attack you with all of these. I'm going to all trigger to make an energy. Oh, Remora trigger on other end. Fine. <laughs> I'll just block the ape with our board. Or never been, <laughs> never been real. All right, and take two, four, six, ten. Yeah, that's that's what that will happen. How much? Ten? Ten. Okay. <laughs> and your ape will die. Second main face, I'm gonna play breeding pool and gain an energy off of. Architect of the Untamed. Go to two. Go ahead, Shape. Alright, I have a smuggler share trigger on NCEP because you drew with the cool glint sleeve siphoner. Mm, okay. I will move to end step. I'm going to use Lion Sash. We're looking for permanents in graveyards. Are there any besides my own? Alas, nope. none for me. No. Nope. Nope. No. Okay. On end step, Lion Sash will target my Gemstone Caverns, my Misty Rainforest, and my Wayfarer's Bobble for three more plus one plus one counters. I'm going to untap Ghostly Pilfer, and I'm going to pay two to draw. Then Mystic Remora is going to die. <gasps> Bye. I, I, I think it's I think it's done enough. I'm gonna draw for a turn. It's gonna trigger Council the Four. I'm gonna draw again. That's so sick. Going to discard Knight of the White Orchid, Ooh. which is signed by the Brad Nelson because it's his favorite card, and I met him this weekend. Oh, um, uh, to Ghostly Pilfer to make it unblockable this turn. Then I'm going to attack Ben with Ghostly Pilfer and Loyal Warhound, and three knights. Four knights. I will declare a block from Urborg on the Loyal Warhound. It's not Urborg. Whatever. <laughs> Never <laughs> Never roll. Roll. I'm sorry, zombie wizard. I'll <laughs> Did you know that Richard Garfield actually put Nivenroll in the game as the backward name of one of his favorite authors, Larry Niven, on Nivenroll's disc. Oh, that is kind of cool. Not Urborg. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll block Aven Mind Sensor with a knight. Okay, so these two are blocked? I'm declaring blocked, yes. Okay. He's got such a card in his hand. Before damage. Yeah. I will swords the unblockable creature. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I'll gain the nine. So uh, Warhound and Knight die, and you take six. And my Avon Mind Sensor dies as well. And I will go down to two. To two. <laughs> to two. To two. You got a shock? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is tapped. I'm oh, sorry. I don't have a shock. No, I don't. Um. I will tap six, and I will cast Coveted Jewel. Oh, when this enters the battlefield, I draw three cards. I can tap it for three mana of any color, but when one or more creatures and opponent controls attack you and aren't blocked, that player draws three cards and untaps Crown Jewel and gains control of it. So I'm gonna draw three. All right, I'm going to tap two for Howling Mine and make a new knight token. Ben? What's up? It's your turn. Wow, really? Yes. Uh -huh. I made it to my turn? It's your turn. Cool. Yeah. With 42 cards in my hand? Yeah, right? it's your turn. Wow. You almost have as many cards as Blake has life, and he has the highest <laughs> life total. <laughs> yeah, I just spent my 43rd card. Ben, saving my on life. your upkeep. What? What? <laughs> okay. 
My Sil upkeep? I'm gonna cast Silence. Oh, 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 oh my god! My opponents can't cast spells this turn. I might upkeep. Okay. In response to the In silence. In response to the silence. I will tap three and play long term plans. Search your library for card and put it third from the top. One, two, three. Okay. And I will go to my draw stack. Yep. And okay. I'll draw a card. You're actually going to draw two for, from Howling. Oh, Night, cool. Which means I'm going to draw from Council of the Four. Um, since a land is not a spell, fun fact, I will play one. I will play Choked S. Estuary Ooh. and reveal an island from my hand, so Ooh. it comes in untapped. Well done. Yeah. Wow, and then I'll pass. You get a zombie. Oh, I do! Sweet! Zombie. On your end step, I'm going to trigger Smuggler's Share because you drew two cards this turn, and I'm going to draw a card. Okay. On my upkeep, a couple things are going to happen. Howling Mind's going to go on the stack on top of Glen Sleeve, so I'll draw off of Howling Mind first. Uh, Howling Mind's in the draw step. Oh, is it? Yep. Okay, well in that case, I will spend two energy to draw a card with Glen Sleeve Siphoner. And then I will draw two cards. Trigger my council. I'm oh. gonna play Scalding Tarn. This is going to make an energy with Architect of the Untamed. I'm then gonna sack Scalding Tarn. Hey, Fail um, to fight. No, oh, really? Oh. I got Watery Grave, I got Breeding Pool. You need some Wait, basics. Where's Come my, on. oh, and Hollowed Fountain. <laughs> Wait, is that all you have? That's all the islands I have. Jeez. <laughs> like, the, at least the two feels of bads in this game. <laughs> Strategic. I'm going to move to combat. Everything I've been. Uh, Seven. Cyclonic Rift. All our favorite cards. Cyclonic <gasps> Rift overloaded. Ooh, priority. No. No, Blake. Allow me. <laughs> Fast priority. I remember a certain pact of negation. Oh, yeah. not that long ago, <laughs> to make sure a Kazul's fury resolved. Never, Ooh. didn't, have it. I am going to pact of negation. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I think this is fitting. I'm going to cast Remand on your Cyclonic Rift. It's going to return it to your hand. We're just fine. And then you have to draw a card. Oh, I get to draw the card I search for. You killed me with a counter spell. It's my turn. It's my turn. This is justice. Man. This has wow. been a weird game, though. There's been a lot of justice. <sighs> okay, that it. will get returned to my hand. And I'll draw the. No, I draw a card. Oh, you draw a card. Yeah, suck it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I drew a card. No nope. moved blockers. <laughs> This one has Menace. I mean, oh, yeah, and I make yeah, an yeah. energy off of the Glint Sleeve yeah. Siphoner attacking. I'll, I won't block. I'll give you an advantage in this game. Good night, sweet friends. I'm going to pay three and pay two life to cast the spell I was going to cast with that Cyclonic Rift on the stack. I'm going to cast Tezzeret's Gambit, draw two cards, then proliferate, and then I'm going to cast a Winding Constrictor. If one or more counters will be placed on an artifact or creature you control, that many plus one. And if I would get one or more counters, you get that many counters plus one. It's just there to make energy, and we all know it. And Steph, I'm going to trigger Smuggler's Share. Smuggler. So upkeep, I draw a card, and then I draw for turn. Yep, and I trigger Console of the Four, and I draw a card. OK, moving to combat. I shall be swinging at CGB, my Birds of Paradise. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, I don't have any flyers, so I can't block that. So even though it's not going to damage me because it wasn't blocked, you gain control of Crown Jewel, untap it, and draw three. <laughs> yes. I keep saying Crown Jewel, but it's Coveted Jewel. But I'm going to make that mistake a lot. OK, awesome. Here we go. Draw three cards. Uh, might as well use this. I'm going to tap this for three green. So five mana total for a Primal Vigor. If one or more tokens would be created, twice that many of those tokens are created instead. If one or more 1-1 counters would be put on a creature, twice that many 1-1 counters are put on that creature instead. I guess I'll pay uh, two for three visits. Searching for Forest Card, because I super need that. <laughs> 
Okay, so I grabbed Breeding Pool. It will enter tapped. That'll trigger my Chaomancer's map because you have more land than I do. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. put a Hollowed Fountain onto the battlefield tapped. All right, then I shall pass the turn. Okay, uh, you had land enter the two lands enter the battlefield, and you drew mul multiple cards. Yes. So I get to draw a card for Smuggler's Share, and I get to make a treasure token. All right, I'm going to draw two from Howling Mud. Okay, I'm going to attempt to channel Atawara Soaring City. I'm going to target Crown Jewel, Coveted Jewel. <laughs> I can't get it right. I just can't get it right. So this will return it to my hand. Seems good. Yep. I only paid three for that because I have a legendary creature. All right, that comes back to hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Going to cast Coveted Jewel and draw three. Mm -hmm. I also draw because of Council of the Four. I was supposed to draw that off my Howling Mind, but so um, that anyway. That is fine. All right, one, two, three. Sun's getting real low. I'm gonna go for the worst possible. I'm gonna attempt to cast a Displacer Kitten. So whenever I cast a non-creature spell, I exile up to one target non-land permanent I control, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. What do you say to this cute, precious cat beast table? Uh, you've resolved for me. Actually, I will draw a card with this thing. Okay, Shay? Hmm, no response. Okay, then in that case, I'll attempt to resolve a soul ring and Trigger Otter is going to target Coveted Jewel. I'll respond to the trigger. Okay. I'll path the Meower Boy. You're gonna path the Displacer Kit and you have in no response cards in to hand, the target. So <laughs> there's just no way you can do There's this no one. way you can respond. I might find a way out of this. Uh, interesting fact is the kitten can uh, target itself. Uh -huh. So it actually even protects itself, which is kind of wow. gross and stupid. But it's true. I'm going to cast Brainstorm. And I'm going to use Displacer Kitten to target Displacer Kitten to avoid the path uh, to exile. I got nothing. Okay, resolves. So Displacer Kitten leaves the battlefield, enters the battlefield. Brainstorm resolves. Draw one, two, three. Path of two exile fizzles. All right, I'll put these two back on top. Then Soul Ring resolves, uh, but before that, Kitten that will, targets yeah. Jewel. Flippity untaps it, and I draw three. Then Soul Ring resolves. I'm mm -hmm. going to tap Soul. I'm going to tap this for three blue mana. I shall help you. Thank you. And I will use it to cat. And then I will tap Soul Ring to cast Arcane Signet. So there'll be three blue mana in the mana pool. Uh, kitten, the jewel. One, two, three. I'm going to tap this for three white mana. Then I'm going to cast. Gitaxian Probe, paying Phyrexian. And I'm going to use this Placer Kitten to target the jewel, untap it, draw three. I'm going to draw a card from Gitaxian Probe. I'm going to tap the jewel for three blue. I'm going to cast Merchant Scroll. I'm going to use the Kitten to target the jewel, which untaps it and I draw three. Two, Did you want to look three. at a target player's hand? Mm, I'll look at yours, Ben. Okay. <laughs> I'll look at my own hand, how about go. that? It is target <laughs> players. All right, I'm gonna Merchant Scroll. Is your hand good? You know what, I'm curious what was in Shay's hand. I'm curious okay, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm targeting Shay. Okay. You don't wanna see my It's a little cards? BM, but yeah, I, I mean, I wanna know. Wait, I wanna know. Well, I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> hmm. You wanna look at my hand? Sure. Okay. Um, all right, oh, nice. so I, scroll? I have to resolve yep. the Merchant Scroll. So I'm gonna search my library. I'm going to go get, it has to be a blue instant. It can't be a sorcery. So I'm gonna get Mystical Tutor. Then what this is gonna get. I'm going to use, uh, I'm gonna add three blue to the mana pool and I'm gonna use one of it to cast Mystical Tutor. Now I have to draw three cards first cause I'm gonna do the coveted jewel targeting first. Now I'm going to search with Mystical Tutor, but I'm going to just go grab this Pact of Negation, I guess. 
I wonder what it drew. Yep. So mm. I'm going to pay. I have nine man in the mana pool. Uh, nine blue, three white. Okay. Wow. I'm going to leave a blue and a white in the mana pool. Well, actually, I'm going to tap this for three white first. There we go. And then I'm going to pay just like three white and four blue for Approach of the Second Sun. <laughs> nice. I'm going to gain seven. This is going to trigger the kitten again, who's going to target the jewel, and I'm going to draw three. Then Approach of the Second Sun goes in one, two, three, four, five, six from top. Just going to do it face up for the LOLs. All right, tap this for blue. I'm going to... Eight blue, three white. I mean, because that freaking... Because that elemental made it through the whole game, I'm gonna bring back the re-sculpt for the memes, and I'm gonna re-sculpt your whining constrictor. Just, you know, so the elemental has a friend, you know? I'm gonna flicker, one, He's one two, million ants. Three, I'm gonna tap cover the jewel for three blue. I'm gonna cast a ley line of anticipation so I can play stuff at flash speed. I'm gonna do the targeting again. One, two, Three. I'm gonna tap this for three white. I'm going to cast Arcane Signet. I'm gonna target one, two, three. There should be enough man in the mana pool to cast Approach of the Second Sun for the W. There Whoa. it is. Look, guys, the sun is so <laughs> beautiful and blinding and amazing, and somehow you're all dead. Dang. It burned us alive. The murder sun. I died twice. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, let's um, shuffle them up and find the card of the game. And we are back to talk about our card of the game brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code CGB5 at checkout. You'll get a cool CGB wolf token and a discount on some of these sweet cards. So I'm going to go first and we'll go around the table. My card of the game is... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. That yeah. makes sense. It, uh, yeah. What did I have to talk about? <laughs> um, yeah, it, it made me think. At least I had a play and a plan to get out of it. It's a long term plan, but. Four creatures is more than four, two, so I died. <laughs> <laughs> and he's the math guy. Yeah. That's why Shay trusted him. Four is greater than two, guys. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Take a quiet moment. To reflect on your sins. Oh, <laughs> what a, some pretty amazing That's flavor awesome. text for oh, yeah. somebody who just drew like oh, 40 that was cards. A, nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a great. I love that. <laughs> All right, Ben. What's your card of the game? For some reason, I was thinking about my card of the game, and then I was like, duh. <laughs> Peer into the abyss, obviously. Duh. I usually cast this while Underworld Dreams is out, obviously to kill someone, so that I don't have to deal with the cards they draw. But I figured um, I would cast it on myself and risk it because I also had solitary confinement in my hand for my next turn, which would have been great. Mm. Gross. But I didn't make it there. You didn't so make it there. I, I yeeted the game pretty much. <laughs> <Gross. Yeah. laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. That's so sick. That was a great play. What's your card at the game? Utter end killed Ben. No one cares about that. <laughs> Scalding Tarn what? not only cost me a life in a land drop, but gave him a treasure. But that wasn't my favorite card of the game. My favorite <laughs> card was the energy token, because I like making energy. You didn't even make that much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dunking on Blake. The series continues. <laughs> I, I used to, it used to be my job to do this, but Ben has taken up the mantle. He's doing a great job. <laughs> the last uh, couple of weeks, it's been impressive. <laughs> so, um, yeah, nice energy token. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm sure that you're going to help sell a lot of those scalding tarns. <laughs> don't put, like, don't put lands in your decks, guys. <laughs> Unless it's double command tower. <laughs> Shay, card of the game. My card of the game was Scoot Swarm. Scooty. It didn't stick around for a super long time, um, but you know, it was doing lots of cool stuff, comboing well with my commander, doubling up on those tokens when I was playing lands. Would have been very, very helpful and useful later in the game, but that's okay. It, it put in a lot of work while I was here. Shay, the really sad part is I can only think of one card draw effect that I've ever seen you play that I would counter in that spot. <laughs> and it was Ristic Study. Yeah. Yes. If you had just a yeah. good old draw three mm -hmm. or something like that, 
I, I wouldn't have even touched it, but yeah. I there need is to sometimes study. a downside to the mm. super powerful cards. Right? Yeah, sometimes you play something that's so good on the table, it's got to go, and that's. I mean, that was just kind of a sad turn of events because it really knocked you out for a long time. Yep. All right. Well, guys, uh, that's the game. I will be choosing your best comment, my favorite comment, to get a $50 CoolStuffInc.com gift code this time. So tell me I'm beautiful. Tell me I'm handsome. Admire <laughs> the council, the power of the four and the 08 booty. And, uh, you know, uh, any, any, any fun, like, things to say about uh, the silence that was cast on Ben are probably going to tickle my heartstrings. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching this video. As always, we will see you in the next one. So on behalf of Ben, Blake, and Shay, it's me, it's CGB. You're cool.